We're here at Bristol Vet School to talk about case-based learning and how it's used in our BVSC and Accelerated Graduate Entry Veterinary Programme. As far as we're aware, we're the only vet school in the UK to use case-based learning as extensively as we are here at Bristol. Case-based learning has been used in quite a few medical schools for a while now and it's something we're excited to bring to Bristol Vet School. We use a seven-step process for our case-based learning. Step one is to read the case and define any terms. So looking at any words you're unfamiliar with, make sure everybody in the group understands what's being said. Step two is then to work out any key aspects of the case. So there's usually three to six key areas that you need to know about in order to understand what's going on. So for example, in a case about lameness in a dog, you might need to know anatomy of some of the joints. You might need to know how pain and inflammation work. You might need to understand something about pharmacology and drugs and how they can control pain. Step three is then to share what you already know. So as a group, you probably already have quite a lot of knowledge about a topic and you have a chat and discuss all of these aspects that you've identified and see what you know already. So having used step three to find out what you know, step four is then to figure out what you don't know. So looking for holes in your knowledge, looking for areas where you need to go away and research and find out more to understand what's going on. Step five is then uh, organising your learning objectives. So having worked out where you might have gaps, it's figuring out what you need to go away and research and aligning those gaps with the learning objectives of the case. Step six is independent research. So you have a chance and time scheduled to go away on your own and look up those things that you need to learn about to understand the case. And then step seven is bringing all of that knowledge back together as a group and discussing all of those aspects, sharing what you've learned, all of that individual research and helping one another to learn. Each of the seven step cases take place over the course of a week. And then the final part of that is what we call a, a, a wrap up. And that's a session in a lecture theatre for the whole year with a member of academic staff who has an interest in that particular subject area that's covered by the case when they have an opportunity to pick out the real key aspects that you should have learnt from that case, clear up any confusion. My favourite thing about case-based learning, I would say, is definitely um, the brainstorm parts. Everybody comes from a different background, you know, there are some people who study nutrition, some people study biochemistry. I think when our idea clashes together, it forms up like a new solution or a new approach to uh, certain ideas. And then we're able to uh, elaborate more and uh, basically dissect the case uh, into a better stage. Case-based learning has helped prepare me for real-world veterinary practice by reinforcing those communication skills and those teamwork skills. I think in vet practice, as most of us will be aware, it's a lot of working with vet nurses, with other vets, with the whole team working together to solve a problem. And case-based learning kind of emulates that because you're working together to um, work around the problem. And it also makes us think about professional skills, like communicating with clients. A lot of time, each case will have a legal problem or there might be something that the owner might be unhappy about and then we then talk about how we would then go and communicate that with clients. Case-based learning is a really great way to learn information but they're doing that in an environment where we're not just giving them the information. Students are going away, they're researching and finding out information for themselves. They're doing it in a collaborative way so they're discussing with each other, working as a team, so developing those teamwork and um, communication skills problem solving, like all of these things that students are developing through case-based learning at the same time as learning information are really, really important professional skills for them to take out into practice.